Hello, this video is a short introduction to whistleblowing in the UK. We'll briefly cover the Public Interest Disclosure Act, your legal obligations and what you can put in place in your organisation to make sure you are getting it right. In the UK, someone who raises a concern about wrongdoing may qualify for legal protections. These protections are detailed in the Public Interest Disclosure Act. To be protected, the whistleblower must be an employee, a worker, a freelancer, a trainee, an agency worker, or a member of a limited liability partnership. Currently, certain individuals aren't protected, including the self-employed, trustees and volunteers. A whistleblowing disclosure is when a worker speaks up about something that has happened, is happening or is likely to happen in the future. The disclosure will sit in one of six categories. A criminal offence, a health and safety risk, environmental damage, a miscarriage of justice, failure to meet a legal obligation, and covering up wrongdoing in any of the other categories. Disclosures are generally only protected if they are made internally to the worker's employer or externally to a prescribed person or body. This is usually a regulator, and the government has a list of prescribed people and bodies for different industries. In addition, the worker must have a reasonable belief that the disclosure is in the public interest. There must also be sufficient factual content and specificity to qualify as a protected disclosure. It can't just be an allegation without anything to back it up. The Public Interest Disclosure Act states your legal obligations to protect workers who make a whistleblowing disclosure. A worker has the right not to be subjected to any detriment by any act or deliberate failure to act by his employer done on the grounds that the worker has made a protected disclosure. Detriment means being treated worse than before or having your situation made worse. Examples include demotion, harassment or victimisation. It may also include misuse of performance management processes or being denied opportunities for promotion or development. Protection from dismissal is a day one right for whistleblowers. Whistleblowers can bring a tribunal claim if they are treated unfairly or lose their jobs. Those who victimise whistleblowers are personally liable and the employer is vicariously liable for their actions too. So it is important to protect whistleblowers from retaliation or unfair treatment. Whistleblowers have a very important role in preventing and stopping wrongdoing in the workplace. It's good practice to put in place measures to help employees raise concerns and to protect them when they do. It's also important to consider what you will do if someone does make a whistleblowing disclosure. Recent news headlines have highlighted the consequences of not acting on whistleblowing reports or trying to cover up wrongdoing. Be aware that there is no upper limit on compensation available to whistleblowers who are unfairly dismissed for making a protected disclosure. So getting it wrong can be costly for businesses and can cause serious damage to their reputation. It's important that employees feel comfortable speaking up about wrongdoing and that they are confident the organisation will do something about their concerns. A good first step is to have clear and accessible whistleblowing policies and procedures so that whistleblowers know how to speak up and what will happen if they do. Whistleblowers may feel anxious or worried about speaking up. So, having confidential reporting channels such as a hotline or online reporting can help whistleblowers take that first step. Training can also raise awareness about whistleblowing and why it's important. When employees have a concern, they often speak to their manager about it. It's important to train managers so that they know what to do if someone does make a whistleblowing disclosure. Thanks for watching. If you need to speak to a whistleblowing expert or need any support with investigations or training, please get in touch with us through our website or give us a call.